Namo Bhutthaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you to this channel. Uh, in this uh, video, I am sharing uh, one of the sutras. This is Angarutta Nikaya 4.10 Bonds. Right? Uh, and basically, here Buddha is talking about four things or four bonds that, that tie us, that tie us to samsara, this cycle of, con continuous cycle of birth and death. Right? So what are these four bonds? So here Buddha is sharing bhikkhus. There are these four bonds. What four? The four bonds are one, bond of sensuality. Second, bond of existence. Third, bond of views. And the fourth is bond of ignorance. These are the four bonds that tie us in this repeated cycle of samsara. This repeated cycle of suffering. So, Buddha says, and what bhikkhus is the bond of sensuality? So, Buddha, say, Buddha explains about this bond of sensuality. So, Buddha says, someone who does not understand as they are the origin and passing away, gratification, danger, escape in relation to sensual pleasures. So, Buddha is trying to say is, the person who doesn't understand the reality of the origin, cessation, gratification, danger and escape in relation to the sensual pleasure, that is a bond. So, basically what Buddha is trying to say is not that the object uh, outside is the bond that bonds uh, binds us. It's basically our own lack of awareness, our own wrong view about that thing. For example, you see a, a beautiful woman uh, in front of you uh, or you know, where, wherever, right? And that you know, seeds of lust, they sprout in you, right? Because of this wrong view, why they sprout? And is that woman the bond or your wrong view? It is my wrong view that is the problem. Where I don't understand that this is happening. See, the object outside is giving rise to the defilements inside. They are sprouting because of that object. And then they arise and then I bind, I seek my happiness in that particular object. It may be a beautiful woman, it may be a uh, gulab jamun, it may be anything which gives rise to attachments or cravings inside me. So my wrong view of not really understanding what the object outside is or what the object inside me is and getting attached, that results in getting attached. That causes the bond, right? I hope you are getting this particular thing. That how that gratification, I need that instant gratification. What is the danger of getting attached? The danger is that I will still continue on this cycle and that anything that you attach with will give you suffering. This is noble, noble truth. Number two, the cause of suffering is attachment and the escape. We do not know how to escape. The escape is insight, insight into the impermanence of things. So if we don't really know all these things, then that is a bond that will keep us in this realm, in this samsara, right? And keep keep us into suffering. So, Buddha says, when one does not understand these things as they really are, see, this is again, this is the core teaching of the Buddha. Seeing things as they really are, and this leads, seeing things as they really are, and even in other traditions, not in, so in Theravada, in Zen, any tradition you see, there is this thing, about seeing things as they are. This, when, when we do that, gives us the insight into the three marks of existence. Impermanence, non-self, suffering. That everything is impermanent, everything is changing. And this changing nature of things gives us suffering. So, so, we have to start seeing things as they are. So, the Buddha says, when one does not understand these things as they really are, then sensual lust, sensual delight, sensual affection, sensual infatuation, Sensual thirst, sensual passion, sensual attachment and sensual craving lie deep within one in regard to sensual pleasures. This is called the bond of sensuality. So this is the first bond. Second is the bond of existence. Buddha says, how is the bond of existence? Here someone does not understand as they really are the origin and passing away, gratification, danger, escape in regard to the states of existence. So there are various states of existence. There are in all 31 realms of existence. Hell realms, human realm, and then there are the godly realms. Right? So, not understanding about these states of existence, the very fact that in every realm there is suffering, in the entire samsara there is suffering, we desire for being born in maybe better realms. 
So that desire again keeps us in that realm, in this realm. So that is again a bond. Right? Third is bond of views. Views means being attached to certain views. Right? Again, a views of being a permanent self, views of finding joy in things. These are all attachment to. So basically, attachment of to wrong views. Right? So Buddha says, here someone does not understand as they really are the origin in passing away, gratification, danger and escape in regard to views. When one does not understand these, these things as they really are, then the lust for views, delight in views, affection for views, infatuation with views, thirst for views, passion for views, attachment to views and craving for views lie deep within one regarding to. So all these seeds, these all things, sensuality, lust for sensual pleasures, a lust for you know views and this deep desire for ex extending our you know tenure in this samsara they all lie deep in our unconscious the more we are mindful the more we practice mindful in our mindfulness in our daily life we are basically helping clear out this garbage from our unconscious uh, it's like you enter a dark room which is you know f you know a dark corner of your house which is filled with cockroaches and you just take out all the trash that is lying there and then you shine a torch over there. So all the cockroaches will go away. That is how all our these tendencies and desires which are there hidden in our unconscious by the practice of inside meditation, by the practice of more and more being aware of our thoughts, feelings, cravings, we are able to clear away all these defilements that lie deep in our unconscious. So Buddha says, then, then fourth is the bond of ignorance. So Buddha says, here someone who does not understand as they really are, the origin and passing away, gratification, danger and escape in regard to the six bases for contact. So when one does understand these things, ignorance and unknowing lie deep within one in regard to the six bases. This is called the bond of ignorance. Right. So these are the four bonds. Bonds are sensuality, sensual pleasures, our craving for sensual pleasures. Second is existence, our craving for a, for keeping, uh, trying to extend. There is again a craving for non-existence also. Some people who are very prone to suicide or self-harm. Every time, every in every life they try to commit suicide or also they have those tendencies to destruct themselves. That is again a tendency which keeps us bound. So first is sensuality, second is existence, third is views, getting attached to views. So let's not get attached to any view. Let's not get attached to any view and the bond is ignorance ignorance of this impermanent nature of things right so these are four bonds so buddha states one is fettered fettered is chained chained by the bad unwholesome states that are defiling conducive to renewed existence troublesome ripening in suffering leading to birth old age death therefore one is said to be not secure from bondage these are the four bonds so what what does these bonds do they create unwholesome states in us that are defiling, conducive to renewed existence, continuing to exist, troublesome, giving us trouble. Fourth, ripening in suffering, causing suffering. Fifth, leading to future birth, old age and death, which also is suffering. Right. So these are the four bonds that keep creating suffering for us. Then, then, then Buddha says, these are because the four severances of bonds. What four? The severance of the bond of sensuality, severance of bond of existence, severance of the bond of views and the severance of the bond of ignorance. So again here Buddha says that and how to severe Buddha again is saying that here someone understands as they really are the origin and passing away, gratification, danger, escape in regard to sexual, uh, sensual pleasures. Right? Understanding things is there. So this whole basically this particular sutta is about having that right, right view on various these things sensuality existence views and sensuality existence views and ignorance all four things having that right view right which can come help us come out of this so buddha says one is detached from bad unwholesome states that are defiling conducive to renewed existence troublesome ripening suffering leading to future birth old age and death Therefore, one is said to be secure from bondage. So, last is there is a, a few words. Fettered by the bond of sensuality and the bond of existence. Fettered by the bond of views. 
preceded by ignorance beings go on in samsara led on in birth and death but having un- entirely understood sensual pleasures and the bonds of existence having uprooted the bond of views and dissolved ignorance the sages have severed all the bonds they have gone beyond bondage so my my learning my action points for this is number 1 having right view cultivating more and more right view seeing things as they are and not what my mind my perceptions my latent defilements try to show it to me uh, right seeing things as they are that means a thing which is i know for something that i know if i eat this i will cause me problems it will cause me suffering so seeing things as they are number 1 practicing more and more mindfulness in my daily life of all my thoughts feelings emotions then practicing insight meditation every day right i have made a lot of videos on insight meditation there is a playlist on insight meditation also that is available so you can check that study of buddha's teachings keep studying the buddha's teachings so that i am grounded in the knowledge of the buddha right and contemplate the three marks of existence impermanence not self and suffering in the day as i go about my day more and more contemplation on how my own you know perceptions and you know attachments they are creating suffering for me so becoming more and more mindful of how i create my suffering how i create my continued existence so so on the face of it i say that i want to be free from from suffering but then during the day i do certain acts which bind me to this samsara which is these four bonds right so being more mindful of that more mindfulness is the first step that we can take so that you know these the strong tendencies they get kind of loosened out the, their grip on us kind of reduces right so so that some of the action points do share your reflections thoughts feedback on this particular sutta the link to the sutta is given in the description you can read it thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaye namo buddhaye